Hi friends, it's Rachel. Welcome back. Today we are gonna make some fun mug cakes. We're gonna do an Oreo one that I've seen all over TikTok and then we are also gonna try and make a kawaii one given the limited supplies we have in our apartment. I think it's gonna be fun. Let's get started. The step one seems to be get our cookies. I'm just gonna pop those in there. Okay, I feel like this is too much. <laughs> I've made a few mug cakes in my day and I know that these tend to overflow at the top. It makes it makes great content. Maybe we'll just optimize for excitement <laughs> and just go for six cookies. Now I'm gonna take my whole milk. By the way, I do not drink whole milk. I find whole milk absurd, but my boyfriend likes whole milk, so therefore we have very fancy organic whole milk. Now I'm going to pour in the milk. Actually, I should try to film this at the same time. We are a low budget production today. We have our cameraman Rachel Fong and our host Rachel Fong and our producer Rachel Fong. <laughs> All right, I am gonna pour in milk until we cover the Oreos. Now, there were not very many specific measurements in this recipe. I only recall colors for the most part, but I think the next step is we're supposed to mash this up into our cookie soup. Oh, okay. This looks like cookie soup kind of, oh hi. Dear internet, I am not sure about this one. Maybe we could add in our two other Oreos. Strategically, we should probably break these up before we put them in the mug. Now the kitchen's all the way over there, so we're just gonna do this right now. Uh, maybe I did too much. They said, they said just below halfway. I think I did far more than halfway. <laughs> Don't you love going to college for four years and you can't even follow three sets of directions? We dumped out some of the milk. Uh, maybe like two more? It should be dark and mushy. Mushy, this is not mushy. Now I'm a little bit confused at the vernacular here because we said cookie soup, but we're also saying mushy. And I feel like soup, I think of as like thin. Mush is like muddy. I know what you're thinking, which is, oh my God, is that like eating 10 Oreos at once? You would be correct. But I am not here to judge your diet decisions, nor is anybody else. This looks kind of like a brownie batter. If it was like filled with plant fertilizer, everything in life is solved by more Oreos. That, this is, this is good. I am feeling good about this. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 75 seconds and then try it. Okay, we are freshly back from the microwave. We have our friend. This smells really, really good. Looks kind of like, like asphalt or something. Might be a little below threshold of like what looks appetizing to me. You wanna see? Ow, it's very hot. Okay, you see that? It's very like, uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure how we wanna describe this. It's just very dark and strange looking. <laughs> now they told us it was gonna be dark gray, light black. This is looking more just black, but I guess we will let this chill out and cool down for a minute and then you and I will have a taste. I wish I had ice cream. I guess I have whole milk, but we are largely deluding ourselves into thinking that whole milk is ice cream. <laughs> okay, I will hang out for a minute and we will give this a taste. Hi. Okay, it's been a minute. Let's go ahead and try it. This is truly quite the production we have today. Okay, uh, I can't see anything, but ooh. It actually like has the consistency of a cake. Wow, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna put this down so I can eat like a real person. This is looking pretty good, oh my God. All right, well, cheers, oh, it's hot. I feel like it is very clear that this is just mashed up Oreos and milk. It has no like flour or eggs or anything, so it's not going to have like that satisfying cake kind of texture. It's kind of bland. It doesn't have a very strong chocolate flavor. That being said, I had a good time making this. I would still give that rating very high. Taste-wise, I would give it a four, mm, three out of 10. Presentation, two out of 10. It doesn't look awful. It just doesn't look like food. I feel like you're better off just eating the Oreos and the milk separately. Okay, next one. I have an idea for the decorations on this one and I am pumped to do it. Let's first make the cake. I, very sadly, have no measuring spoons or measuring cups in this apartment which is very spooky indeed. But we have this guy, which is one cup that I can use. I am also very confident in my guesstimating abilities. So let's do it. Okay, we need one cup of flour. Oh my God, does this just say cup? Where is the, mm. okay. One cup of flour into our bowl. We're also gonna do six tablespoons of sugar. Uno, dos. I don't speak Spanish, by the way. I would count in Mandarin, but I feel like I feel like my Mandarin is so bad, you guys would all laugh at me. So we're just gonna six. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. 
See, what you really need to do here is just stick your finger and just like puncture it. But if I do that, my nail will fall off. So this is actually very difficult. Ha, huh, opened it. We need a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon baking powder. ASMR. <laughs> quarter teaspoon. Uh, that's too much. That looks pretty good. Pinch of salt. Trusty Kirkland here. Eighth of a teaspoon. Amazing. Now I'm just going to mix this together. If you want to see, it's just a bowl of white things. All right. Hi. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. We love baking. Now what we're going to do is add our wet ingredients, which I have already prepared ahead of time. This is just three quarters cups of milk, six tablespoons of melted butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Wow, perfect. Should I have picked a smaller bowl? Maybe. And then we're just going to mix this together. This is looking good. Wow. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and add some star sprinkles to this. It looks like funfetti, like chicken and star soup or something. Man, I love sprinkles. Okay, now we're just going to mix this together. Probably could have guessed that. This is, this is cute. This is very cute. Amazing. Well, as you can probably guess, this is going to go into a mug now. Let's go look in the kitchen for a bowl. Alternatively, we do have a whole cake here, but that's cheating, so forget about that. I guess we could just go with another one of these. These are really nice. Okay, let's do that. We are going to pour our batter into another one of these bowls. This will give us a really big surface area to decorate. Hmm, maybe the, uh, how much should we do? Pop this in the microwave and I will be right back. Guys, our cake looks so good. Do you wanna see? The bowl is really hot, so I'm gonna have a hard time right now, but all right, <laughs> I'd risk my life for you guys. Look at, ow. <laughs> oh my God. You know what we're gonna do? These are sleeves. Look at it. It's so cute. It looks so, it looks so perfect on top. The tragic thing is that we want to decorate it and therefore it has to cool down completely. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I will be right back. This looks so good. I just wanna eat it right now. All right, our cake is in the fridge and in the meantime, you and I are gonna make some buttercream frosting. For the frosting, you need one stick of softened butter. Got some perfectly soft butter here because it is unusually warm in San Francisco. Why is it so warm today? I really, I really don't like heat as a person. 70 degrees San Francisco weather is shocking and upsetting to me. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in a cup and a half of powdered sugar. I look forward to powdered sugar being all over my keyboard. Okay, we are gonna be in need of some Windex in a moment. All right, one, one cup powdered sugar. In we go. And we need one more half cup. To be honest, I am just gonna eyeball this. Frosting is really not an exact science. You can kind of go by like look and feel. So just add a little bit more. And then we are going to mix this up. We are looking good. So this is delicious as is, but you know what makes everything better is vanilla extract. I would do about a quarter teaspoon or so. It smells so good, oh my God. It's so smooth. You know, a skill I've developed over time is mixing batter in an aesthetic way, <laughs> kind of like giving it a final stir so that it like sits nicely. <laughs> it's the top skill on my LinkedIn. All right, friends, we have our cake fully cooled off and we have our frosting ready to go. So, Time to decorate. I really want to make a panda cake. So first I'm just going to frost the top. We are just going to smooth this out. We are close. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> That's good. Nice and smooth. Now I have a surprise for you guys. Let me go get it. I have the cutest little panda face here. The way I did this was I chopped off the bottom of two Oreos for the ears. Then I cut two other Oreos into ovals and then I cut a last one into a triangle. And now we can just put them onto our cake. Ear, there, nose, another eyeball. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. I'm very pleased. There's a few little straggling Oro crumbs that bother me. Excavate those, really be a surgeon out here. People always ask me if I ever thought about being a doctor. The short answer is no, <laughs> because I am I'm terrified of blood. I cannot do surgery. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is so cute. <laughs> I just want to get rid of this one crumble. Oh, or we can just push it into the frosting. Okay, cool. I want to pipe a smile on our panda. Oh, I like it. I think I'd also like to do some sprinkles on top. I feel like this video could win an award for creative production value. <laughs> All right, don't try this at home, kids. I am just going to sprinkle these on top. Oh, a star or a cheek. That 
That's pretty cute. Our panda cake is so cute. I don't even want to eat it because I don't want to mess up his beautiful face. Um, but I also like cake, so let's give it a try. Look at that. Wow, oh my god. It's so, you can see like the confetti on the inside. That is so sweet. All right, cheers. Mmm. That was a good cake. <laughs> this is so good, you guys. Oh my god. So perfectly vanilla flavored, and it's not too buttery, and it's not too sweet. It's just a really solid cake. Try it for yourself. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Well, that is all I have for you today. I had so much fun doing this and hanging out with you all and just baking, doing what we love to do. Don't forget to subscribe so you get more new videos. Follow me on Instagram for day-to-day -day life happenings and behind the scenes, and I will see you guys all back here very soon. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.